my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? It's amazing. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. think about all this rainwater well at the school all the drains were plugged up there was so much water I was like I'm gonna definitely be able to kayak in the backyard <laughs> and sure enough I was right well it's 5 45 in the morning got my seven Sundays oatmeal got my narwhal coffee with some primal coffee and bullet creamer in it I'm getting ready for what looks to be a rad day Well, y'all, good morning and welcome back. Yesterday, we had a crazy storm come through. It absolutely poured. So you can see my neighbor's yard over there, it's flooded. You saw my kids were paddling around in their kayaks. It blew pretty hard, and we've got a really solid southeast swell in the water. And so, I'm actually behind the eight ball. It is uh, 6.15. I thought it didn't, like, first light wasn't until almost six. But man, it's just like every day it gets lighter earlier and earlier, so. There's no wind, the waves are a little wonky. It's time to go start looking and find out where we're gonna go, but it's gonna be a good day of waves. So welcome back, y'all. Oh yeah, by the way, there was a random little day of waves a couple days ago. Didn't do much documenting of it. Woke up, was expecting it to be like waist to chest high and Jeffrey was gonna surf and stuff and then it was actually kind of legit. Like there was some chest shoulder high sets and went and surfed for like an hour and a half before the wind came up and had some fun with friends. So while I start heading to the beach, y'all check that out. Yes.
headphones too, but I remembered them. <laughs> well y'all, we've been driving around looking for some waves. Hope you guys enjoyed that little session the other day. But now we've got some pretty firing conditions. The wind's finally gone offshore. It was calm this morning, everywhere had morning sickness, and now it is turning on. And uh, it's pretty unruly, but there are some insane waves. So, gonna suit up, give it a go. Oh, look at that bomb. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, yep, try and get one. It is straight up firing. This is as good as it gets here. It, it's been hard to line up waves because it's like kind of shifty, but I mean, I've seen some of the best waves I've seen here in so long. It is just straight offshore, bombing, pumping, all of the, of the excitement. <sighs> oh my gosh. 
did a five hour session, just came in, got some food, some water. It's time to go back out. Um, very tired, but days like this don't come along too often. So time to get after it again. <laughs> Still bombing. I feel like you can always tell how good the waves are by the pitch of my voice. As soon as I start getting Mickey Mouse status, that's when it's real good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It's amazing. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. That was unexpected. Winds north. It just went to trash. It was supposed to be offshore all day. It was supposed to be offshore and even side offshore tomorrow morning. You can hear it picking up. It's howling. I'm content with how today went. That was so special. Those are some of the waves I witnessed today were as good waves as I've ever seen on the East Coast. There was crazy waves today. Oh, sad to see it in this way. I was kind of expecting to like the tide was going out. I was expecting us to all just share tubes until dark and high five on the beach at the end. Well, I guess not high five because, you know, social distancing. But anyway, be stoked on the beach together at the end of the day, but we're all going home now. Oh, just so stoked we got to see that happen. That was special. And now it's pouring down rain and I can't even change. Uh, that's hail. I was like, why is that so loud? I knew it was too good to be true. Yeah, well, it had to start hailing, at least. <laughs> to make up for what just happened. <laughs> just hailed. Those are like, uh... Well, you guys, that is going to go down as one of the top best days I've ever seen on Hatter's Island. 100%, that was insane. And I wasn't prepared for it. None of us expected that. We all thought it was going to be like six to eight feet and fun and you know perfect but no one expected it to be that big i i was not prepared i didn't have i wish i had bigger boards in my car you know it's not that you necessarily need bigger boards to ride those waves i was riding a 511 pig dog so was jesse but when a beach breaks all over the place like that like you see in mexico and stuff like that where guys are riding bigger boards than what looks like you need for that size wave is to be able to chase it down because it was really hard to be in the spot. You'd be 20 feet too wide, 20 feet too deep. And especially as it was getting peakier, it was hard to be behind it. And if you weren't behind it, there was no point in going because you weren't gonna get barreled. I don't know, that honestly was like an eye-opening session. And I think I'm gonna have like six fours and six sixes in my truck anytime I think that that spot might be the call. That day was so special and I, I feel like even as good a waves as I got, I saw so many better ones and I wish I could have snagged one. Jesse got one. Jesse got, Jesse was the one person that got like a bomb. Actually, Quentin had a pretty big one too. And one I made was big, but Jesse's was the biggest tube anyone made. That was probably one of the best right hand barrels that's ever been ridden here, actually. 100%, I would say that for sure. That's crazy. And to think that just some random day turned out to be that, Jesse and I talked about it and we'll remember that for forever. That was so special. And it's nice to know that like after all these years, 
when, when I feel like spots, or I don't know, that we've gone through phases where I'm like, are the waves getting worse here? I don't know. And then to be graced with like one of the best days ever, it's just so encouraging to know that they're still out there, that in the future, there's still gonna be insane days. It just holds that much size. It's one thing when it's perfect and it's like eight feet and under, but for it to be that big, I mean, there was like legit 15 foot face sets, like proper eight foot Hawaiian, a few of those sets where it was bombing. And uh, it was consistently eight to 10 to 12 foot faces. I just want to see it again. I just want it to happen again. You know, it was supposed to be offshore until dark and it went side short like 4.30, which was way early. And I kind of had timed like my lunch break with high tide. And unfortunately that was like when it was the most perfect. And when I went back out, it started slowing down. And so then it was too high, but I was like, oh, whatever I got till dark, like the tide's gonna go out, it's gonna fire. And uh, I only made like one wave and then the wind went side shore. But just to have a chance at those waves, to be out in the lineup and see all that happening, I literally almost lost my voice. I was just screaming my head off constantly. And there's so many empty waves that Jeffrey filmed. I can't even like put them all in this video. There, it was just everywhere you looked was crazy waves. And yeah, it's not like we all rode, you know, a ton of waves, but the waves we got, oh my gosh. For the East Coast, that's as good as it gets. The only bummer out of the whole day was that Jeffrey missed my very first wave and it was probably my best wave. It was at least my biggest barrel. I don't know if it was as deep as one of the ones I had late, late morning, but it was my very first wave. Jesse and I had gotten out there, drifted into place, and the sun had popped out behind the clouds and where Jeffrey was set up, he was looking straight into the sun. And he was sitting there with Mike Leach and all of a sudden they just see me riding, kicking out of this wave. They never saw me paddle for it. They never saw me ride it. They couldn't actually even, he said they couldn't even see exactly what the wave did because it was just in the sun the only person that saw it was jesse as i paddled into it and i like side slipped barely caught my fins and got into it It was just this like it was a pretty big barrel it was definitely the biggest barrel i made the whole day and uh let go as i was coming out and it spit some not real hard but i kicked out and i was like my day is made like i'm done whatever happens is icing on the cake and Jesse like caught a few waves and did a drift around and walked back up. And when he came back out, he said that uh, Jeffrey never saw it. You know, that's just luck of the draw. That place is really hard to film. You can't shoot it straight on. As you saw, so there were any when he went to shoot straight on, there's waves in the foreground. So he was shooting into it, but that makes it look smaller. So then you wanna shoot behind it. But if you drift to the next peak down, you're too far behind. And there's like so many things that go into trying to document that place. It's just so far out. It's a really tough spot to shoot. It's crazy to think that there'll be a day that we talk about for forever. And I was on the beach during my lunch break with uh, my friend Dave Lusk before he went out. And we saw this four or five wave set up the beach that was like one of the best sets I've ever witnessed in person here. It was just five, like 12 foot plus waves. Every single one did the exact same thing as the one before it and just blowout after blowout after blowout. I had like, we were losing our minds. Yeah, y'all, I could rap about that session for a long time. Maybe I'll do a little like round table talk story about uh, that spot and days like that with Jesse and Jeffrey and those of us that surf out there. But anyway, I'll let you guys go before I continue rambling. I, I like I said, I'm just, I'm not speechless, that's for sure. But I'm really excited and thankful to take you all along for the ride. And you know, if we don't get another swell for the rest of the season and we gotta wait till fall, so be it. Cause that was a banger. And it just gives me so much to look forward to in surfing and, and knowing that like the best is yet to come. Like there's so many times I just think like, oh, have I seen the best waves ever here? Like, will it ever be as good or will it ever be better? And I think after the other day, the answer is yes. And I uh, can't wait to see when it is. If it's in two months, two years, five years, who knows? But. That's just such a special thing. And that's what keeps you coming back for more. Anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. Hope you guys are having a good one. Staying safe, staying healthy, staying positive, And I'll see y'all next time.